Welcome to chapter two. We'll start by changing into our chapter two folder and uh, running our commands to set up our virtual environment. Remembering it's Python with a three. We'll then activate our virtual environment. And as it's just a matter of procedure, upgrade uh, pip is our first uh, task. not worrying about uh, any errors that I might have there just on my local cache and finally we will install our uh, requirements for this chapter with, with a minus R Okay, so our requirements are now installed. So let's uh, run our code and uh, see our circuit working. So we'll start by running the uh, program LED GPIO0. And we will observe there that the LED is flashing away. So I'll just control C to break that. And next, we will run the LED program that is built using uh, PI GPIO. And again, observing the same result there with the LED blinking. Right, uh, next, uh, we'll check our button programs out. So, first of all, we will run our button program that uses GPIO0. And when we push the button, we should see the lead come on and off, on and off. And next we will try the button program that is built using Pi GPIO 0, sorry, Pi GPIO I should say, and observe the same result. Okay, next we'll look at the uh, Dweet LED program. So we'll run Dweet LED. Now when we revisit these URLs, we will see uh, the LED change state. So on my Raspberry Pi here, I can hold down control and just click on these. So if I control click on this one, if your control click doesn't work, you'll just have to copy and paste them. That will open Chromium up for me uh, and set our states on. We see the state has come on here and our LED has come on. If we try, we'll try the blink, last one there. Again, control clicking. A few moments later, we'll see on the terminal here that it switches into a blinking state. Well, first, this has got a load. There we go. Now we'll get a blinking message. There we go. And our LED is now blinking. And finally, uh, just this one here to turn it off. The middle one, turning it off. And our LED is now off. Okay, finally there was a Dweet button uh, program also mentioned in the chapter, so let's just, uh, we didn't go through that in the chapter, but let's just run it here for completes. So for this I'll need two uh, terminals, 
of course it could be two Raspberry Pis. Let's position them so we can see them both. So the first thing we do need to do is put our thing name into our delete button file. So So I'm just using Vi here, you can use whatever editor you need, but there's this line here where it's got thing name. And we just need to replace that with the thing name which is printed here when we run the delete LED program. Must remember to uh, activate our virtual environment. And now run our Dweet button class, uh, Dweet button program. Righto, so now uh, previously we used our browser to send the URLs to control this LED. Now our button will be basically emulating that. So one button here should turn our LED on. We've got to just wait for everything to flow through the internet. And there's our LED on. The second button should make it blink. And there we go blinking. And finally, one more should turn it off. And there we go. Okay, that concludes chapter two. I shall see you in chapter three.